Local news that matters on Local 22 News. At this place in history, we're back and we're in Dorset with Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, Steve Perkins. Oh man, it's so exciting to be back with all of you. Um, but we're here in Dorset at the Dorset Field Club, which is the oldest continually operating golf course in the United States. So who are we chatting with today? So we're going to go see longtime member of Barbara Reed and the general manager of the course, uh, Patrick McGuire. And they're going to tell us all about the history of this really cool place. This is a beautiful spot for a golf course. When was it established here? The club was established in 1886. It's uh, known as the oldest continuously operated club in the country at the same location. Uh, there's been a couple that are older, but they either closed down with you know the World Wars or uh, moved their location. So they opened up the doors in 1886 and they haven't closed them since. There were seven, eight, or nine um, kind of founding fathers that uh, the majority of them were from the Troy area and this was kind of their summer hub. You know, they kind of put together a, a nine hole golf course and with their buddies and um, it's been here ever since. So I think it was kind of a vacation retreat. And a golf course probably looked really different than, yes. than, than we think of it now. Cow yes. pastures and <laughs> fences and all that. It is quite a job to turn all this land into nine holes which it was for many, many decades. Now, Barbara, you've been a, a member of the club for, let's say, a number of years. Yes. And so you've seen a lot of changes here. What was the course like when you first started playing? When I first came here, it was it was rough, just nine holes, and they would change the tees for the second nine, for the back nine, a little bit from, say, from this, that chair to this chair. and the most amazing thing and a change to me, well, two things. One is that people, we could play barefooted in cut off jeans. <laughs> that definitely changed. Then the second change was early on, we brought food for dances, which we had with records, of course, records where you put the, the <laughs> arm down <laughs> and, and you brought a, a, some kind of casserole and we'd all eat it and what fun, yes. When but did that big shift happen? As people discovered Dorset and Manchester and Paula and the mountains and this decided to come up not just for skiing but for the summer and slowly it's the growth. It seemed to me to be gradual. Over the years what sort of importance has this club had on the surrounding communities, the surrounding towns and villages. It's become bigger and bigger and more and more important in that the more people live here now. It's a center of activity for many of us and generational. I mean, my granddaughters learn to play tennis here. We have so many generations here, children and grandchildren of, me of members like me, and which is very nice. At this place in history,